Peace. Uh, back again for another installment. Your brother, your friend, your dietitian. Um, in a cool cafe here in Guatemala, but I want to come to you live and discuss with you all uh, something that's super important. It's about bringing life to the planet. Um, it's about pregnancy. So when we think of pregnancy, we almost always think of women that are involved in creating life and creating uh, human beings, bringing a soul down to the planet, which is what's happening when a woman is giving birth or when a woman is gestating and a woman is or when a baby is gestating inside of a woman. Um, but we don't discuss a lot about what the man can do, what the man needs to do to prepare himself uh, to be the husbandman, to be the person who lays the seed uh, to give birth to that, 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 that baby, that being, to give life to that being, that, to create the zygote, right? So six things that a man can do to prepare himself um, for the pregnancy if he plans on getting his wife pregnant, right, or his lady. Um, and also this is for people who are sexually active in general and there's a risk that your woman can get pregnant because you need to be prepared in general. So, number one, the first thing you wanna do um, when you realize that, hey, I'm preparing to get my wife or my woman pregnant um, is to study about pregnancy. You wanna study the process of pregnancy. Why? Because light, <laughs> when you bring light to things, um, that uh, changes uh, your perspective. It, 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 it um, brings understanding. So what you want to do is, is get as much knowledge as possible in the pregnancy process. So you have to know yourself. You have to know if you are an audio learner. So do I need to download podcasts? Do I need to listen to listen to and watch YouTube videos? Do I need to get an application on my phone? Uh, you know, do I need to listen to audio books? How do I need to gain this information about pregnancy? Because you don't want to go in ignorant. You want to go in with strong knowledge. You want to go in with the torch light. You want to go in with the beam light. You see what I'm saying? Because ignorance is darkness. Ignorance is like walking into a room and you can't see nothing. You're going to stumble. You're going to bust your toes. You know, you're going to bust that little pinky toe. You're going to be yelling and you're going to be frustrated. You go into the dark room with a candle, you can navigate. You see what I'm saying? But if you go in and you got the sunlight beaming through the through the through the window, you're 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 in full control. You can fully see what's going on. So you want to get into your libraries. You want to get into bookstores, Amazon, Barnes and Nobles. Look up pregnancy. Discuss with wise people who have knowledge. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, someone who's like a somebody who's been through it. But if they're ignorant and they just went through it and they didn't study pregnancy. You may not want to talk to them. You may want to talk to somebody with knowledge. So the first thing you want to do is study, 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 study. All right? Um, it's going to raise your awareness and your consciousness, and you're going to have a better pregnancy. Also, you're going to be able to, even if you don't know things, when you have a base knowledge, you'll be able to ask more questions that will give you valuable information. So that's number one. One other thing I want to add about number one um, is that there may be a time period where your woman, she doesn't want to have sex during this time period. Also, afterwards, um, she, she's not going to want to be sexually active. And you got to manifest and control. You, you got to manifest sexual discipline and control yourself. Um, understanding that, hey, she just gave birth to my child. We, we may not be able to have sexual intercourse or she may not be in the mood to have sexual intercourse. So that's something to study and consent. Okay. okay, so number two is going to be physical activity. Physical activity. We have over 200 muscles in the body. Um, over 200 bones in the body and many muscles in the body. It means that the body is meant for movement. So you can't, if you're alive, you should be physically active. If you are of the age where you can give birth or you can spread seed and, and, and you're fertile enough to have a child and you're watching this video, you should be physically active. So that means at least five times a week, five days out of the week. Really, we can be physically active every day. It does not mean that we have to be intensely physically active or something that will, 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 will hurt hurt you or put a strain on your heart if you have heart problems. But you can do resistance exercises and you can do cardiovascular exercises. For men, resistance exercises can consist of um, you know, body weight exercises. So you got push-ups, you got squats, you got pull-ups, dips, all those. Also, it deals with... Um, weight training so you can lift some weights but you got to do something if you're going to be uh, physically active what's this doing is it's releasing positive hormones right 
um, is giving you more confidence. It's going to give you more energy. And not just that, you, you're increasing your sperm count and the quality of your sperm. Studies have shown that. So men, that, studies have shown that men who are less physically active um, and who watch more television, things like that, they have a lower sperm quality of their sperm count. So you want to treat, increase your testosterone, increase the, the quantity and improve the quality of your sperm count. Um, you want to get more confident and just be in better shape, right? Um, that's going to lead to the next one that I want to talk about um, right now. And another thing, too, before I get to the next one, you this can allow you to work out with your wife, too. She can do light exercises. You can do heavier exercises. But you want to get into prime tip-top shape before you conceive this child because studies have shown that the health of the man and health of the man's sperm actually can affect positively or negatively the child. That comes from that that relation. Some people just think that it's the woman, but studies are showing it's also the man that plays a part. Okay, number three, try obtain try and obtain a healthy weight. So that means if you're overweight, go to your doctor, look up online about a pr proper body weight. You want a BMI between uh, 18.5 and 24.5. That's a healthy BMI. Uh, 22 is going to be the best, but uh, if you can get in between that range, that's a good range to be in. If uh, your your body weight is too high, you're gonna have a lower a lower sperm count. Or excuse me, you're gonna have a low, you're gonna have a lower fertility rate. So um, the, if you could just lose five pounds, if you could just lose ten pounds, whatever you can lose with the exercise, try and lose that before you give birth to the seed, because you give birth to the child. Because like I said, your 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 quality in your sperm count and your health has to be in tip top shape if you want to give birth to a beautiful healthy baby you want to be as healthy as you can before you have that child right so um get into that get into looking up what's a normal weight um and try and get into that range now don't kill yourself don't beat yourself up thing is you're trying to create a, a life you bring a soul down to the earth you want it to be healthy so what do you need to do you need to get this do, do the best that you can to get to the, reach the goal that you're trying to reach all right but um don't kill yourself over. okay number four is really important you have to read about the benefits of breastfeeding. If you are a man and you plan on impregnating your wife, your girlfriend, your woman, or you are, you're dealing with a woman and you guys are having unprotected sex and you, you may be at risk of having a child, you need to understand the benefits of breastfeeding. So when I say a study about pregnancy, you want to do the same thing with, with breastfeeding. You want to prime yourself and get yourself used to and understanding that breastfeeding is very natural. It's actually the only natural way to feed an uh, infant, and it's the most healthy, complete food. People think that you need an outside food besides breast milk. It's not true. For the first six months, there's absolutely no other food that's necessary unless there's extenuating circumstances like a premature baby or something like that, a baby with a birth defect or tr 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 uh, trouble eating or things like that, but trouble with the palate. But otherwise, the baby absorbs iron from the mother in the, in the, in the, in the, in the gestation period. So um, I'm going to do another video about the mom's health and how it's so important to have the mom healthy. But the baby has reserves for the first three to four, six, four to six months, three to six months of iron. So the one nutrient that's that, um, that or it's two nutrients, but the one nutrient that breast milk is low in is iron. But actually the baby is going to have a store of iron. So study breastfeeding. Understand that it's a natural thing. You want to be able to support your wife and giving your baby the best. Um, you want to understand that it helps with um, uh, the immuno immunology of the baby, keeping the immune system strong, right? Keeping it from preventing it from getting sick. You want to understand that it has a high uh, anti-cancer, uh, antiviral uh, complexes inside that the formula doesn't have. You want to understand that it's free. It's good for the environment. It can help prevent breast cancer for your wife, your woman. Help sh uh, shrink back the uterus to its normal size. Right? So you want to get into that and study that. Study some, bre some breastfeeding and support her in doing that. You want to at least do that for like a year. Right? Do the breastfeeding for a year for the seed. Okay, okay so number five. Uh, this one is really important. Um, once you start studying yourself, you start uh, eating uh, healthier, you know what I mean? You start exercising, like I said. Um, what you want to do is go to your healthcare provider, your physician, your natural practice doctor, whoever you subscribe to, and get a generalized checkup, right? Get a generalized checkup, see your health, um, and see where you're at, because you want to try and be in tip-top shape as a man, because you are the husbandman. 
look up husbandman. It's, it's someone who lays the seed. So you're the one who plants the seed, right, for the, get the process to start. So you don't want to have a spoiled seed. You want to have a healthy seed. So look into that. Also, you want to look into um, any genetic markers that you may have. Do You want to get a genetic profile of, of, of your own genetics and see if you may have any carriers of gene. See if you carry any genes that can cause birth defects. Now, you don't want to have undue, unnecessary anxiety and worry. So tell the doctor, hey, I'm not trying to find out if I have any markers for cancer or anything like that. I just want to check and see if I have any specific genetic markers that can cause birth defects in children and my babies. Like, don't tell me if I have a chance of getting prostate cancer in 10 years or something like that because I'm not trying to go crazy. I want to know, hey, well, does my baby have a higher chance of having autism, Down syndrome, etc., etc., etc.? Do I have a rare genetic, uh, am I carrying a rare genetic disease or is it high risk, you know, that I have this and my wife has it? You want to do that kind of study, all right? Remember, tell the doctor, I'm not trying to get a full genetic breakdown because I'm not trying to be worried and up all night worrying about what I got. Just a few things that may show that I may have a baby with a genetic defect. All right, number six is going to be a combination of things. I said start eating, uh, I mean, start exercising, start studying, um, doing several things, linking up with the doctor, reading about breastfeeding, but you want to eat healthy, right? So you want to start quitting um, any addictions and changing bad habits. So first in the food category, um, you want to cut back on sodas, um, you want to come back on fast food, junk food, fried food, you want to eat more fresh organic fruits and vegetables, more whole grains, legumes, um, lean, if you're into meats, eat lean meats, so instead of the high fat meats, you want to eat lean meats, eat fish, things like that, try and get things that are organic, drink as much water as possible, so these are the life changes you want to start making, if one, you're married and you say, we are about to have a child, I want to find my body or find myself as a man so I can give birth where I can lay down the seed that will will start the process of creating a healthy uh, baby that's what you want to do um, next is you want to quit any addictions to drugs alcohol any substances that um, you you may you may be indulging in or using right so um, what's pot well, one thing that's possible is that um, you could be addicted to uh, cigarettes. You could be addicted to alcohol. You could be addicted to, um, you know, methamphetamines, crack cocaine, regular cocaine, smoking too much marijuana. You want to purify yourself during this time because you want to lay the seed. So you want to quit those things. Let those go. Um, and you do that little by little, right? Now, again, if you have a woman, you're sexually active with her, you're not using protection, there's a chance that you haven't... Um, having a, a baby, you want to cut back on these things that I'm mentioning and let go of those. One of my clients, I've, I've done um, I've done the work in um, in child prenatal and maternal health for like two years now. I'm a registered dietitian health professional and I've had clients who have been perfectly healthy as women. Their babies were born with birth defects. Why? The man's seed was spoiled. The man was using methamphetamines. The man is using this drug, that drug. The man's unhealthy. The man drinks too much alcohol. He's alcoholic. And these are young people, very young people. And the woman is perfectly healthy. She went to the doctor. She did all her checkups. The baby was born with health defects. Why? Because of the seed, the spoiled seed of the man. So six things that you can do to prepare yourself to give birth to or impregnate your wife and give birth. Please implement this. Implement these six things. Share them with your family, your friends, and build. Okay. Um, your brother, your friend, your dietitian. Again, for another installment, sharing what my passion is to try and help and improve other people, uh, other people's lives and health. All right. Peace and love.